Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury, the playlist here on Let's Talk where we review the stories of the great Ray Bradbury. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do and help us achieve our goal of 750 subscribers before the end of 2019. We are almost there and we still have a month to go. All right, so today's short story is called A Wild Night in Galloway or Galway, rather. Uh, it appeared in the August 1959 edition of Harper's Magazine. A screenwriter and a director are held up in a um, sort of a bed and breakfast um, <laughs> type scenario in Galway, Ireland, hammering out a script. There's rain pouring down, the wind's howling, uh, everything's dreary and depressing, and they feel depressed. Uh, so they decide to go out. They wind up at Heber Finn's pub looking for a wild night. They start slugging whiskey, they start laughing at jokes they don't understand through the thick accents of the natives. Uh, and then eventually they ask um, the barkeep Heber Finn, hey, you know, is there a better time to be had than this? Uh, they hop into his car and start driving through the Irish countryside, 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, passing hedges and uh, stone walls and green countryside. And eventually they end up... Um, uh, in this weird place, there's a gap in the wall. They walk through and they find all of these men silently standing by, waiting for something. Suddenly, the lights burst on. Um, a mechanical rabbit starts moving and a pack of dogs follow it. Uh, they've stumbled upon what is likely an illegal gambling enterprise. Uh, they spend some time there. Uh, they lose a lot of money. But eventually they find themselves right back where they were um, in their room. Um, the wind's still howling, the rain's still falling, and now they just have hangovers. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, A Wild Night in Galway. The story is rather short, three, four pages. Um, Bradbury spent a lot of time in Ireland um, as a writer, and he's used that as inspiration for several stories, um, some more... Um, fictional than others, some more autobiographical than others, but always some connection. I don't know to what extent this story is true. Obviously, it's in a book of fictional stories, so um, some liberties were taken, but it's uh, obviously that he was inspired by his time there. Um, some of the other autobiographical stories um, set in Ireland that I've uh, reviewed so far include Banshee, The Beggar on O'Connell Bridge, The First Night of Lent, and One for His Lordship and One for the Road. You can find all those reviews here in this playlist. Um, the best part of the story is it's sort of its exhilarating pace and build up, um, especially the drive through the countryside. You can feel the energy building, the anticipation, what are they going to see. Um, I love the immediacy of that, the feeling of anticipation and of exhilaration and of energy. Um, ultimately, the payoff, a little bit weak for me, um, a little illegal gambling on dog races, um, not all that interesting of a payout. I was expecting something a little bit darker, um, maybe a little bit more sadistic, um, but that's what we got. Even so, um, with the weak payoff, the story works because of its length. You don't and have to invest a terrible long amount of time to read it so you don't feel like you've been gypped by by the result. Um, he, he, he wrote a lot of stories, now that I'm, I'm finding this out, um, that were a lot more realistic than you would expect. I, I always thought of Bradbury as the sci-fi guy and a little bit of horror as well, sort of the macabre. But a great many of his tales are comedic as well as fairly sort of literary in their nature. Um, very sort of real worldish, and this one uh, sort of falls into that category more than many of the other ones. So, A Wild Night in Galway, uh, August 1959 edition of Harper's Magazine. Uh, it's available online in various forms. Um, um, I read it as part of this collection, which I am... Um, slowly working my way through here on Let's Talk Ray Bradbury. I'll be back soon with another review. Next story up is called The Wind, so uh, tune in and see what that is all about next. All right, guys, thank you for watching.